I'm wondering if the females will begin to fight. We gotta find some turtles, man. What do we got? What do we got? Hey, this is this is great. Look at that. I wanna catch everybody. Hey, what's going on everyone? Kenan here and I'm in my wetsuit. <laughs> so I'm auditioning for uh, Kook of the Day on Instagram. But uh, yeah, basically it's a little chilly. So I wanted to do a video. Uh, of course, this is an Ask Cam Kenan, it's Thursday. So I'm gonna answer questions. I'm also gonna be looking for a few of the turtles just to do a little health assessment. I wanna see how they're doing. I know we had a few cold nights. I'm being a chicken. I'm gonna get in this water, but I know that it's gonna be a bit chilly. I didn't wanna be uncomfortable, but there you go. Thank you to our amazing supporters who helped to make this show possible every week. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennan. This week's special shout out goes to Emma C. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. So we are uh, gonna get to it. And the first question comes from Gabe Earhart. All right, Gabe, let's just bring you guys with me. Uh, Gabe asks basically, hey, Kennan, um, will I ever be able to put the three new rhino iguanas in with Petro and Petra? And the answer is no. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that because those turtles, excuse me, I'm thinking of turtles because that's what I'm looking for. Though, those rhino iguanas uh, have established themselves a territory. So Petra and Petra have been living uh, together for a very long time. Oh, it's very cold, by the way. This wetsuit's starting to work, though. Uh, they've been living together for a really long time. And because of that, they will not let any other animals... Uh, any other rhino iguanas or any cyclora uh, kind of hang out with them. So what happens is in the wild, these guys have territories. And the male's territory will overlap with a few of the females in the area. The females are also very, very um, protective of their territories, which is interesting because I wonder how long I'll be able to keep that trio together. Because usually what happens is once the animals mature, uh, even though those three rhino iguanas, uh, Stumpy and the gals, have been living together for a while, once those females mature, I'm wondering if the females will begin to fight. And if they begin to fight, uh, they'll probably need to be separated because they will not get along. Um, and usually happens during maturity. Now that's weird. We gotta find some turtles, man. So that's one of the things um, that you gotta look out for when you're dealing with cyclora. Um, basically, you wanna make sure uh, that you have a large enough enclosure and even sometimes the cyclora themselves that you do have together, like say you got a male and a female and you didn't raise them up together. Uh, if you don't raise them up together, there's a possibility that even when you introduce them for breeding, you may have to separate them because they will get pretty aggressive towards each other during certain times of the year. What we got, what we got, what we got? Hey, this is, this is great. Look at that, a fly river turtle was up on the bank and he was, he was kind of in the shallow water and it's really warm in there. How cool, man. Awesome, I want to kind of put these guys out. I want to catch everybody. Uh, I don't know if I'll do everybody for this one video, but I am going to spend some time in here and check everybody. So that is great. I love it, man. And this is some deep mud over here. So this guy was sunbathing in the shallow area. Look at him. And he looks good. Everything looks good. Want to just check him out. All right. He's got good weight to him. But my goodness, how fun is that? Pretty cool. All right. Hey, buddy. Let's just put him down here. He looks healthy. Uh, we had some nights down in the 40s. That's why I was a little concerned. I don't want these animals to get sick, so I do have the uh, well, and I run it in there. So that's important. What do you say we go to another question, though, while we look for another one? Uh, let's see. If I keep my tortoises on a balcony where there is no substrate, will they try to nest and lay eggs, or will they sense this, that this isn't an eligible place to lay? I'm afraid they might store their eggs in their body and don't have a place to lay. Eventually, the eggs rot inside the tortoise body and kills it. That's true. Uh, last but not least, I'm from Taiwan, where people's English is not my mother language. I'm sorry if there's any grammar mistakes. Well, Benjamin from Thailand, excuse me, was it Taiwan? Uh, Benjamin from Taiwan, thank you very much for your question. I'm gonna go ahead and put this phone on the bank so that I don't accidentally drop it. I do need at least one hand uh, to do this job. We'll put that bank right up there. Well, Benjamin, 
Uh, great question. Uh, it's one, it's a subject that we have dealt with before. And basically guys, uh, you have to have some kind of substrate if you want these animals to actually, uh, to actually lay eggs. And you're right, what'll happen is if the animals do not have the proper substrate, like for example, we've got nice sandy banks here for uh, the badiger that I'm looking for to actually go ahead and nest. But if you don't have a nice substrate, then the animal could retain the eggs and they become egg bound. They know they can't lay and they wanna be good moms and they try and lay those eggs. They wanna find the right spot. And if they can't do it, it's gonna be problematic for these guys. So what has to happen is you have to make sure you put an area um, in that pond, or excuse me, I'm, I'm so like uh, confused as to what I'm doing. Uh, not the pond, in the balcony. I would get uh, some kind of container that can house soil, make a ramp up to it, uh, let the animals see that, and then they'll be able to use it to lay their eggs. So let's see, now since I made this pond much bigger, it's a little bit more work to try and find these turtles. It was tough just in that area. Now it's really tough. And since we found that one fly river up towards the edge where the water's warm, I'm thinking that's where we're gonna find some other fly river turtles. So let's keep doing it. I'm gonna have my little grid pattern. Well, I'll go back and forth. I'm not really doing a grid, am I? But uh, basically, that's what I would say, Benjamin. Uh, make sure you provide some kind of habitat, some kind of digging area for them. Because if you do have a male and a female, and even if you don't have a male or female, you just have females, they may sometimes lay the eggs just as practice. They develop eggs, and uh, what they then need to do is they absolutely need to get those eggs out and in the ground. Oh my gosh, we gotta find another turtle, people. It's nice soft mud, I'm happy about that now. Look at that good stuff. Nice organic matter. Turtles can burrow down into it. Let's go ahead and stand up a little bit and see if I can kind of walk around. And see, oh, there's a definite pocket where a turtle must have dug. Very cool. So yes, uh, get yourself some soil. Very important. All right, let's see. What do I got going on over here? This is shallow and the water's probably warm. I'll bet you we'll find some turtles in the shallow water. Let's see. Yeah, this water's nice and warm. I always worry about finding someone who might take a chomp on my feet, but it's a risk I'm willing to take as I want to, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, I got something, guys. I got something. Hey, look at this. It's our Badiger, one of the male Badiger. Oh yeah, there you go. This guy's great, look at him. He is just covered in the mud. This is a warm area, so they've known, they know to come over to a warmer area where the sun, which has been hot the last few days, can warm up this water. So I'm very happy to see this. How awesome, one of the Badiger affinis. Uh, and again, look at how I find these guys. These guys are always in the mud. And look at how perfect their skin is. Uh, I don't know if you're new to the channel, but if you are, these animals came to me uh, as a partnership with the San Diego, Bronx, and Fort Worth zoos. Uh, they're four animals and uh, they belong to those different institutions and they were having problems with their skin in the situation they were in, in the aquarium or uh, enclosure that they were set up in. And the theory is this, folks. Uh, I think the enclosures were just too clean. These animals need mud. They love to burrow. That's where I just found this one. And because of that, look at how beautiful their skin is. No lesions, okay? Old scars, but no lesions. And uh, this animal's looking good. Well, let's put them back in. Get them going. Go ahead, little buddy. I love it. I love it. Why don't you go back in the water, bud? So here we go. We found two turtles. All right, two turtles, two questions. I'm very happy about that. I love that these guys are using this entire pond. Look at this. How cool, huh? So this eventually will become my gator pond, and I'm going to need to get in here and get all my turtles out. Uh, that's something that I'm going to have to do, and we'll, of course, make a video on that. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. But for the meantime, uh, I'm pretty happy. I mean, I found the two different species that are in here. Um, I found the Fly River, ooh, that's a deep hole. The Fly River, and I also found 
uh, the battery will finish. So if those two are doing good, it's safe to say that the others uh, are doing well also. What do I got? What do I got? What do I got, people? What do we got? Oh, hey, it's another fly. Look at that. Hey, all right. This is my big boy. Hey, big boy. All righty. So, yes. And he's dabbing. Let's see. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. What you doing? What's that? I hear you. Okay. Yeah. If you hold them up to your face, sometimes they slap you with their flippers. You know, they are adorable. I love them. How cool, guys. So, we're doing good. The fly rivers are looking good. This guy's heavy. Oh, my God. Oh, go ahead, little buddy. Oh, my gosh. Get on there. Woo! Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I think uh, I'm very satisfied with the situation we've got. Uh, these animals seem to be doing just fine out here in nature with all this good organic muck and uh, that strong, powerful Florida sunshine. It, hey, hey, is this the same guy? This is the same guy. Oh, you just want to come back. You're just trying to come back. This, this turtle weighs a lot. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? Hey, buddy. Don't we look like each other? Kind of a pig nose. Right? <laughs> okay. Hey, listen. Uh, I'm going to go, guys. Oh, we're going to let this guy go. I'm going to go get cleaned up. And I'm going to say thank you to everyone who supports us on Patreon. You guys rule. Get your questions answered right here on the channel. Got to tell you, feels good in the wetsuit. Thanks, Hyperflex. You guys are rad. Sending me a nice wetsuit to get my job done out here. Oh. All right. Well, I'm going to do like the turtles and take a mud bath. You guys. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to learn more about turtles and tortoises. I stepped on that fly river again. Uh, thanks so much, everybody. I'll be seeing you all soon. Got to get my phone, and I got to get out of here. Have a great day. So long.